welcome to my channel. Please ignore my dog and my cat and my unmade bed. Today is March 2nd and I am here bringing you a how I knew I was pregnant before I knew I was pregnant video without any intervention from a doctor or scientific proof or at home pregnancy test, no results, just my symptoms of how I've been feeling, and my gut. That's it. So as of right now, I still have not taken an at-home pregnancy test. I have nothing to prove to anyone, not even myself, that I am pregnant except for my pregnancy symptoms and my gut. I did today go in to my OB, if you can see it in the camera, to get my blood drawn to check my HCG level. I will go back in on Friday morning and get another vial drawn as well to see if my HCG levels are going up but I will not receive those results until Monday. My husband and I plan to test this Sunday, March 6th. For us, we wanna to be together. We set that date because I wanted to be further along in my pregnancy, hopefully, and go into the doctor sooner and not have to wait without any answers. And obviously with our past, it was just something that me and him decided to wait on. I did call the doctor yesterday so we can make sure we could get into the office, both of us together for an ultrasound which is everything goes as planned, will be our first appointment in the middle of March. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get into my pregnancy symptoms. My first symptom actually started before my missed period and it was vivid dreams. I had two very vivid dreams, both scary nightmares. Um, one was about zombies. I absolutely hate zombies, can't stand them. I'm actually scared of them. Brandon used to pretend to bite me like one and I would literally kick his a -double -S because I was being serious. I don't like them. My second one was some weird black and white, funny music, old film about Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I had this dream before the new one came out on Netflix and I didn't watch it. That one came out of the blue. It was really weird. The symptom that I felt was sore breasts. Um, I know that this can also not be a pregnancy symptom. You can have sore boobs from not wearing a bra, from wearing one incorrectly, or having the wrong size, exercising, your period's about to start, all that stuff. And I second guessed myself thinking that it was, there was many different causes for it to happen. My boobs don't get sore. Whenever my cycle is about to start, it's never been something I've had to deal with, but they do get sore if I don't wear a bra, which I am known for doing. I can tell the difference, just like I can tell the difference between poop cramps and period cramps. I can tell the difference between not wearing a bra sore boobs and pregnancy sore boobs. I have been pregnant twice before. Obviously, I did not get very far in those pregnancies, unfortunately, but I do know what it feels like to be pregnant. A lot of these symptoms are new that I've never felt before and some of them aren't such as the sore boobs. I have felt these twice before and I knew what it felt like. I still second guess myself because I didn't think it could be possible that fast, but here I am, most likely pregnant. My gut is right, I am, but if I'm wrong, I'm going to check myself into a mental hospital because I made a fool of myself and there's no way <laughs> No way I'm not. So yeah, sore boobs is very common. It's one of the main pregnancy symptoms. A lot of women do have this early on in pregnancy. And the third symptom I had was very light cramping. Um, I obviously thought this was coming on because of my cycle because I could tell that they felt like cycle cramps, like my period was about to start and I kept waiting and waiting and my cycle never came, but I still had some light cramping like Every now and then throughout a couple of days, my missed period came. Um, my cycle had been pretty consistent for the two months prior. January and December, my cycle started on the 13th on both days. My cycle was said to start on the 16th of February and it did not come. On Friday, February 18th, my next symptom started and that was very light spotting. Um, around 4 p.m. I was at work and I felt something and I went to the bathroom and I wiped and there was a little bit of blood on the toilet paper, none in the toilet and none in my underwear. I kept going back to check every single time. There was, it got from light, like bright red to dark red, like kind of brown and it freaks me out. I started to feel like panicky and really sad because the last time that I spotted I miscarried, I had a miscarriage, but I wasn't sure if it was my cycle starting or what was going on. 
I knew deep down it could be implantation bleeding, but I was just freaking out because of the last time this happened. I was just having PTSD and remembering everything that happened and it just freaked me out. So I got really sad. I cried in my car on my way home and later that night I had a epiphany, a huge realization and God just laid it on my heart and he gave me that and made me feel safe and peace and I just knew, I knew from that instant that I was pregnant. I had no doubt in my mind that I was not. The spotting had stopped around 7 o'clock that night. I never touched the toilet. It never became droplets. It never came, got in my underwear. It was all on toilet paper and like, I guess, barely came out of, you know, your inner lady part unless you wiped it out. So that was a really big sign to me. And then I had just had this overwhelming feeling that I was pregnant and I could feel it. Earlier in the week, I kept second guessing myself. There's no way I'm pregnant. Last time, I absolutely knew I was pregnant before I tested. I could feel it and I didn't have that feeling. And then that night, Friday night, February 18th, I just knew God gave me that. And I'm so grateful. And he just made me feel at peace with it and just very happy and have this really amazing joy. So that symptom right there, obviously having an epiphany about knowing you're pregnant is not really a symptom, but I know a lot, a lot of women say that they knew they were pregnant. They had no doubt in their mind, even if other people didn't believe them. And I had no proof of it. So my next symptom started and it was, it's exhaustion and short of breath. I still have this very often actually today. I don't know where I got this energy from to record this video, but I've been so freaking tired at work today. I just wanted to sleep. The most significant day to me other than today that I just felt ugh and just exhausted was February 23rd. I just, I think I just did too much and I was really exhausted. I was really tired and I just was really emotional that day. I just wanted to cry. Bending down on my knees back up, I feel kind of lightheaded. You know, like if you get up too fast, you feel lightheaded. Feel out of breath going along with that too. That was a really big sign to me and go, going up and down my stairs in my house, whoa. I can do it once and I'll be fine, but then I come up and do it a second second time, like say I forget something, and I get to the top of the stairs and have to stop to get a breath. Now, every single day I don't feel like this. Some days I go without any problems. I feel normal other than my boobs. My boobs have been relentless. I have not had a day where they're not sore. Some days are less sore than others, but they're just never not sore, okay? So, that's the most consistent pregnancy symptom that I have. And then the next one is hunger and weird cravings. I haven't had really much nausea at all. And that's one thing that has made me skeptical over the past couple of weeks is that I haven't had any nausea. And that's like a really huge sign of pregnancy for a lot of people. And I know that also taking prenatals can help with that and the B6 and the folate and all that stuff that is in it does help with it. And I was taking my prenatal about a month before I got pregnant. And I know that also helps die down some of the harder pregnancy symptoms in your first trimester so that may be the cause that I'm hoping for and I'm also very very grateful for it because being nauseous is one of the hardest things I've ever had to deal with. I can handle a lot of things, stomach aches, cramps, anything but when it comes to nausea I absolutely hate it and I feel like I'm dying. I hate being nauseous so I'm really lucky and glad that I'm currently not having that and hopefully won't get it bad. Hunger obviously, I, the only time I have gotten nauseous, not bad at all, is when my stomach is in, empty and I have absolutely nothing in it. I now understand what women say to snack throughout the day and not have very big meals but snack all the time. Keep something in your stomach so you don't get sick. I have noticed that not like just like with the exhaustion, it's not an everyday thing. Some days it's different. Like some days I feel this way where I need to eat and my stomach hurts really bad. Others, not so much. Just depends, I guess. And then the next one I have is swollen boobs and huge areolas. So I, my boobs didn't, like at first they were, they hurt really bad, but I didn't realize how big they had gotten. Like they either grew, but I feel like they're just like really swollen. I don't remember when, but I wore this black lacy bralette that I bought from Old Navy for Christmas on their sale and I couldn't fit it like it was too big like the lace would stick up and you could tell that I was wearing something that was too big but I wore I put it on one day and it fit me perfectly like a freaking glove and I was like what the heck and I I just feel heavier here and more bustier basically see my cleavage so they are definitely swollen and my areolas have gotten a lot 
rounder and bigger at least in my opinion <laughs> and something that i noticed a couple days ago acne now i don't have bad acne on my face and i've never had any issues with acne growing up but i have noticed acne in places that i've never had it before such as in between my breasts i have a couple of them on my back which are they're not big they're pretty small but i can feel them and i've also noticed them on my hairline and like right here i can feel it and on this side as well like on my hairline right above my ears on the side of my head here's normal i have one here but i've had that one for a long time i didn't consider that one a symptom but just the two tiny ones that are right here i thought that was weird i've never gotten them there before now the acne can be a part of pregnancy with that being said, those are all of my pregnancy symptoms that I have felt so far. It has been, if my apps are correct, uh, that they can be not very accurate. I would be about six and a half weeks now and I realized I was pregnant around the same time I did last time, around the end of three weeks, beginning of four weeks, I realized that I was pregnant and pregnancy symptoms started to show. So I guess we will know for sure come Sunday and Monday and then weeks from today I can go in and have an ultrasound depending on what my HC, HCG levels are. We're going to fingers cross that. That was the point of me waiting so long and also a mental thing because losing two babies, having miscarriages is not easy and I know a lot of women can relate to that. And I just, I wanted to keep it to myself for a minute and just be something between me and my husband and it to not be real, like real, real yet, not proven, and just be something that we know is true in our hearts and in my body, and just thank God every day for the joy I bring, and keeping the bad juju away, and all of the stress, and everything, just thanking him for keeping the peace in my heart, and in my mind, and helping me to not second guess anything, and just be grateful at where I am, and not think badly, and think positively, no matter what the outcome is, I am grateful for him, and the opportunity for another wonderful child so I'm gonna end this video here so it's not too long those were my symptoms I know they're pretty much common of pregnant women but those are my pregnancy symptoms how I knew I was pregnant before I took a pregnancy test how I knew I was pregnant before I knew I was pregnant symptoms I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time